Texas A&M Kingsville, the Havilinas, making their way up to the stage. We have head coach Darren Wilkinson, redshirt junior offensive lineman Omar Wilkins, and senior D lineman Caleb Valentine. Welcome to the stage, gentlemen. Now, I'm, I'm wondering where Coach Wilkinson's large hat is. I was told you you're only seen in, like, what is it, a sun hat? Yeah, you know, it gets hot in <laughs> Kingsville, so yeah, you gotta, you gotta keep the sun off you. Yeah, definitely. I was told it's hard to recognize him without it on. Um, no, it's not. You, you, <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can tell who it is, because he's probably the only one out there with it on, so it's pretty big. <laughs> Well, you guys have a beautiful campus. I know whenever we played down there, the palm trees and the whole, you know, we came from West Texas where it was pretty dry, so I always remember your campus was just gorgeous, um, which I don't say about many of our opposing well, campuses, yeah, yeah, right? Though. That. <laughs> you may listen, it's great, yeah. The beach, yeah, yeah. Yeah, how, how, how are we feeling uh, entering this year? Yeah, you know what, this is, this will be my fifth year uh, coaching these guys, and I think everybody on the team now are guys that I recruited, our staff recruited, and so there's a little bit of familiarity with everybody, and uh, certainly playing in this conference, uh, you know, week in and week out, there's not a there's not a, an opponent that you can look past uh, like some of the other conferences I've coached in, in the past, where you know this is an unbelievable conference, unbelievable coaches and talent, and, and so our guys kind of have it figured out now where what the expectations are each week, the way you prepare for a game, and and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what these guys can do. I'll allow you to introduce the two. Yes, yeah, so we got Omar Wilkins, who, uh, shoot, Omar's been there about as long as I have, but he's through because of different injuries and things. He's going to be a junior this year. He's from Elkins High School in the Houston area. And then Caleb Ballantyne is from Seven Lakes High School in the Katy area. He could be a senior. Well, listen, I know you, um, Coach came with plenty of success coming from Colorado State Pueblo. I think you and Hunter. Yeah. Hughes were part of that national title team at Pueblo. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, we, we had a good one there, but uh, it's not, it, I'll tell you what, though, it's no fun coaching against Hunter. You know, we, 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 it was never fun going to practice against him, and you know that week going, you know, trying to prepare for Hunter is not fun. So, uh, unfortunately, he is in this conference. So, how do you take that sort of success with Pueblo and then implement it here at Kingsville? You know, it's what it is, and it's no secret recipe. The way you win football games, it's you know, can you work hard day in and day out? Can you, can you overcome the grind and, and just continue to work and, and work for success? I mean, it, it doesn't matter if you're in football or whatever, you know, business, whatever industry you're in. If, you, if you're able to outwork your opponent, you give yourself a chance to be successful. How did you guys see that success kind of play into the culture here at Kingsville? Him coming from a national championship team at Pueblo and then arriving here at Kingsville, how did you see that shape, Omar? Um, I saw it as, as a good thing, just because like, you know, it's, it's always good when you know a coach has been somewhere where you're trying to go. It makes you feel a lot more confident in him, more comfortable in him, just because he's been there before, you know where you're trying to go to. So, I mean, it makes it a bit easier to, to buy into his program and what he's trying to do, because he's been there. How about for you? Yeah, definitely. Was... <laughs> yes, definitely. Please, somebody with success is uh, easy to follow, and. Um, he comes with a lot of experience, and having somebody like that on your side is always a good thing. And he's able to tell us and from experience, and it's easy to follow somebody like that. Well, I know for the defense, it's easy to follow someone like you. You recorded 16 and a half tackles for loss last year, almost five sacks. So, for you, what is the key to getting behind that line of scrimmage? Well, we were lucky enough to have a coach. His name was Scott Brown last year, and uh, he came from the 49ers. He coached there for quite a few years. And uh, definitely the coaching staff, we do a lot of preparation and a lot of film study. Um, and just being in the right time, in the right uh, location at the right time is definitely a uh, plus that we have. Is just film study and seeing different takes of the linemen, how to, how to exploit that. Well, I know it all starts in the trenches on both sides. In fact, on Fox Football Friday, we call you the, the big hog mollies. I don't know what a hog molly is, but that's how we define the linemen. And I know on the offensive line, you guys only lost, like, what, one guy? So that should certainly help this year. How uh, how key, how critical is that line in your offensive success? Well, it's everything you know, from on both sides of the, of the trenches. But on the offensive side, the offensive line, you know, the, the model that we go by is we are the offense. You know, we go as, as the offense goes. And how would you best describe this one right here? Character. <laughs> Character. You, you 
seem like you're able to kind of open up and then you know get serious when you need to, right? And it's a it's a it's a balance that that takes a while, I think, as a coach to find, huh? Yeah. Well, yeah, you know. Somebody told me a long time ago, you got to know a time and a place to, to be serious, time and a place to have fun, and, and uh, recognize those moments, and, and you go with it. Well, I know you, uh, you're you so proud of these two. I'll give you one last chance to kind of, uh, since they're both very modest, you know, uh, what allows Omar in that line to, to make the offense run? And then, of course, Caleb. I asked him what the key to getting behind that line of scrimmage is. What have you seen from this young man? Well, the thing that both these guys have is they're – they're extremely hard workers, and you know when we look for leaders on our football team, that's the number one thing. You, you know, you want to be able to lead by example, uh, and to have guys that do it every day in the weight room, do it every day in you know, our early morning workouts, whatever we're doing. There aren't two guys on our football team that work harder than these two, and, and that's why our team looks to them. Uh, they're, our, they're two of our, our leaders, and, and I can't say enough about their leadership. Just people gravitate to them; they follow them. And lastly, what did you take away from your time with Hunter Hughes? <laughs> you know, some things are better left untold. Uh, <laughs> uh, it is cool to think we have two Lone Star Conference coaches that uh, came from a national title winning team in Pueblo. Again, we hope to see some of that here at McKinney Isley Stadium this fall. Best of luck to you guys. Thanks so much for being with us today. Appreciate it.